Chang, I think I have something on our secret admirer. Group called Samizdat. Mean anything to you? You mean those conspiracy nuts? Very bad for business. How much do they know? Not sure. Good news is I got an exact location. Find out whatever you can. What they know, what they want. If they blow the task force's cover, it's only a matter of time before someone blows up the task force. Don't worry, Chang. I don't want the walls coming down just yet. The things you... Stop. Identification. Come on into the watchmaker's shop. It's like stepping back. I couldn't imagine what it's like to be augmented. I heard a bunch of runaways look down in the schools, form their own little community. There's just never enough lines. I hope not move. I'm telling you, I hear whispers in the wall. agenda, big global impact story, then segue into the and war, follow up on Dubai, and finish this yes, war. We're on well proud of the world. This is Eliza Kassar, from Pike Air. If you're that place is in front for a front, I want to know more, I want facts. Paul, what the fuck? Don't shoot! Shit. We're journalists! Who invited the agent type? Who are you? What do you want? Why are you here? You, you hear it because of the Dubai story? The article about the moon base? The, the, the clones? The, the clones on the moon base? Who sent you? I'm here for Sam as dad. You in charge? I take charge, but I'm not in charge, man. No one owns or detects the truth. Freedom of information is a collective right, man, and the, and the collective responsibility. That said, you gonna break someone's nose? You break my nose. I didn't come here to break anything. I just need you to cooperate. I spent my 20s in a commune, man. I'm all about cooperation. Good. It's about something you've been looking into. It's making some people nervous. What do you know about Praha Dovos? Oh, that little import company? I know there's more than boxes in the basement. We've seen agent types come in and out. The place is a curtain. The first in a series of men. Pull them all back and you'll find... Damn. Tell me I'm wrong. It's a dead end. <laughs> right. Guys like you always come down here because of dead ends. Fine. Then what if it's something other people are already looking into? If someone like you makes too much noise, that may compromise any chance they have of uncovering something bigger. Do you understand? <laughs> I'm supposed to believe we're colleagues now? 
Pikers. You men in black types, you walk into Pikers newsroom, tell them to be hush-hush about something, and they do it. But that's not how it works here. One day, you will all be exposed. If not by me, then someone just like me. Sam is that isn't one voice. K isn't one man. What did you mean when you said K wasn't one man? K is an ideal, the intangible leader of tangible resistance. You can kill me, but then little K would become K. Kill little K and, and Bones over there becomes K. That's, there's always a K. And what if you kill Bones? <laughs> you can't kill Bones, man. Bones isn't real. I think he was one of them. He was supposed to be a prince of Belgium, man, but then he broke his condition. We found him inside this fucking cult, all confused, so we reprogrammed him with the truth. Right. Suppose I needed to make a deal with Sam as that. There's no one person I can talk to? Depends on the deal. I mean, there's always going to be an editor. Editor makes the final call on all published material. That would be me. So you could ensure that something doesn't get talked about? Depends on the deal. What exactly do you do down here? Samizdat is a media uprising. While Pikes panders to corporate tyranny and government bullshit, we pump out the truth. We uncover it, we write it, we publish it. We get our noses broke for it. So you print pamphlets? Well, we do a lot more than that. We got ways of getting into Pikes media network. That's how we disseminate information. Information you get by hacking into places you shouldn't. The truth is buried. If digging it up means skirting a few rules, so be it. I need you to stop looking into Prahandovos, but not for the reason you assume. Relax, I get it. You don't think I do, but I do. You've got to appease your military industrial masters. We've all been there, man. I'm not who you think I am. The kinds of people who manipulate the news, who cover things up. You don't need to convince me that's who the enemy is. The enemy is anyone who conceals the truth. And that's exactly what you're asking me to do. To pretend like that little import company isn't hiding something. I'm asking you to see a difference between conspiracy and discretion. Between people who hide information in order to push their own agendas, and those who need to stay off the radar in order to do their jobs. You of all people should understand. Okay. Okay, look. You seem like a reasonable guy, huh? Hell, I've usually been punched by now. I find this refreshing. Here's the deal. We promise to forget all about Praha Dovos and stay out of your way as long as you give us something better. What do you suggest? The only thing I hate more than secret organizations are toothless media conglomerates who don't hold anyone accountable, who spit lie after lie after lie. So I propose a trade. There are places my people can't get into. You get into one of those places and find me some dirt on the real enemy here. Pikes Media. Do that and I'll cut whatever you want me to cut. Who knows, maybe you'll even learn something. What do you want to know about Pikes? I want skeletons! The kind that companies like Pikes come all the way to Prague just to bury. Corporate archiving, man. Corporate archiving, huh? You asking me to break into a bank? I'm not talking vaults here. Ashani Talvar, the Palisade CEO. She leverages her clients, keeps information about them close at hand. She's got something on Pikes, I know it. I just can't get to it, but I bet you could. You poke into her office, find something that proves how nasty Pikes is, how much they love to piss on the truth, and I promise you this, I'll misplace any file you want. I'll look into it. In the meantime, don't publish anything until I get back. Don't worry. Oh, and oh, while you're there, feel free to snoop around. Who knows what else you might learn. We'll see.
I don't like being this close to Prakash. Just make it through this ship. I love working at the bank, but those cargo security. Absolutely secure. Data extract. Allow me to finish with this gentleman, sir. Absolutely secure. Data. I'm sorry, I'm in the middle of a conversation. Absolutely secure. Data extractors have never breached the level. Hackers <coughs> are everywhere. Not here? Exactly. Of course, physical security is also paramount, and Tarvos has an impeccable reputation. They were affiliated with Bell Tower, yes? Formally, yes. But so we're uh, most secure. Please see the receptionist. Why don't I schedule Sir? a meeting for you with our accounts manager? He can answer all your concerns and start the application process. Hmm, yes. Why don't we do that? Thank you. A pleasure, sir. Hello, sir. Welcome to Palisade. May I help you? Not sure. Never been to a property bank? I see. Well, we are the premier secure corporate archive in the world. We offer a number of services, including ultra-secure corporate vaults, as well as executive safes for smaller accounts. Exclusivity, anonymity, and security are the cornerstones and our greatest selling point. Makes sense, but security is a major concern for your clients. Oh, yes. Everything at Palisade is state-of-the-art. Security measures are audited regularly, and Tavos is a very well-respected private security firm. Would there be anything else? Your executive safes are available to anyone? Well, we do have an exclusive clientele, and the application process is rigorous. Despite this, almost all our safes are currently occupied. Your client list must be very impressive. It is. Mostly they are held by executives from our client companies, but some select individuals have been approved as well. But with the same high security standards, I hope. Oh, of course. And access to the executive safe room is restricted. Clients must use their assigned personalized keycards to gain entry. That's all? Sounds a little simple. It's a little bit more involved. The keycard also switches off all automated security measures within the vault. Lasers and sentries and the like. All very high tech. I think I'd like to see the account manager. I'm sorry, Mr. Romanek is unavailable at the moment. So this is a data haven? Well... <laughs> We don't use that term here, but yes, we archive highly sensitive materials and documents for some of the most powerful businesses and people in the world. No worries about corporate espionage here. Or government subpoenas. Our international clientele do tend to uh, disagree with the stance of their local governments as it pertains to uh, corporate rights, let's say. So they take advantage of this country's more pro-business legislation? Mm-hmm. Uh, I suppose that's one way of looking at it, if you were a cynic. I prefer to think that our clients shouldn't have to deal with small-minded anti-capitalist bureaucracies if they can avoid it. How big are the corporate vaults? Doesn't seem like this building would hold that many. Oh, quite big in fact. We call them container vaults like shipping containers. Our storage facility is actually right under our feet. Quite an impressive sight. Underground, makes sense. Great security feature. Absolutely. In addition, they are only visited by appointment and require the use of a client's keycard to access. 
Thanks for the information. <laughs> Welcome back, sir. How may I help you? Do you have any more questions? Thanks for the information.
Move to narrow. Clear. Confirm. Move to patrol. Confirm. Confirm. Proceed. Move to patrol. Confirm. Confirm. On Nera. Move to revive. Ah, shit. Time to move. Visual on code zero. Cover flank! Code 90! Why? Clear on point. Nothing. Confirmed. Clear on Y. Confirmed. Granted. Code 90! Titan formation! No sign on Y. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. 
Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Sir, I am on the phone. The bat. I'm terrified, Patricia. You need not ask me to come. The stock market. Please, just enough for a coffee. But it's recovering very well. Just make it through this shift. So, you got anything on Picus? What are you working on right now? What's your big story? We don't write stories, man. We bombard with facts. 63% of all earthquakes since 1997 were caused by geological bombs. D did you know that? Must have missed that one. There is nothing natural about these disasters. You like figures? 7.1 million Ogs left in the world. 
That's down 89% since the incident. Darknet Shatterman up 73% since that thing in Dubai. It's all related. You want a spoiler? You want the bottom line? I'll tell you. All part of a selective depopulation agenda they've had from the beginning. The means change, the targets change, but not the ideal. And our governments, they know about this, but the public has no idea. Why? Why is that? Because Pikes controls 94% of the world's media, and 97% of what they report is complete bullshit! That's a fact. You mentioned something about Dubai. What do you know about what happened there? <laughs> ex belt our mercenaries working with local Slavic gangsters caught in the middle of a puppet show in the Middle East. The whole thing was carefully crafted for them. Crafted by who? Someone who likes to rig the game. Puppet on each hand, man. Where do you get this information from? Who is your source? Voices in the dark, man. The moment you fall asleep is the moment they start talking. Psst, Kidara, Kilva, the Changdala, that's what I hear. Whispers out of reach, it's a... it's like a scent. Something no one can hold on to yet. So, you have no idea? I got plenty of ideas, but the more I talk, the less I can hear. Besides, journalistic integrity, man, we're not pikers down here, okay? We're one of the few media outlets left that aren't part of the global control mechanism. Indirect means on one side, direct means on the other. And once you're in the wheels of the machine, you're finished! I think I found the kind of information you're looking for. Alright, inspire me. Here. Pikus knew all about a recent chemical spell and what it did to the water supply. They warn their own people, but not the public at large. Better to risk people's health than to threaten social order. And this is good, very good. Anything else? No, that's it. Oh, uh, that's cool, man. Uh, this should be more than enough. Okay, uh, Bones has been typing up a storm already. We pulled all our Pikes theories together and laid out some preliminaries. If you did your job right, this should help fill in the blanks. So we're done here. Almost. We need to make sure this issue gets the publicity it deserves. There's a city information hub we want you to hack. It's on your way out, I promise. And then, you forget all about Praha Novos. Uh, Praha? Hmm? <laughs> 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 